real quick guys um just like and share this video um this lady who is out a ton of money because of this deck and this guy's company that screwed her over um i just want to make sure that it gets out there and he is known and he does not do business anymore in this area or um, at least rights his wrongs on this so um, like and share and enjoy the video what's going on guys Zach here with rigid inspections and uh, I think I have what is the absolute worst deck I've ever seen to date and I don't know that anything can top this um, so um, I feel bad for this lady because this contractor screwed her and I'm gonna just name the contractor right now the guy's company is Precision Craft, and his initials are TJ. I don't know what his last name is or anything else, but um, this is a St. Louis company. Um, I'm in the Bell Fountain area right now, so um, I'm just going to spin the camera around and just start showing you guys how bad this deck is because it's an absolute disaster. All right, so I'm just going to walk around here. I mean, I, I really, you don't even know, have to know much about decks to to see where this is just not good um we'll start over here you see these posts are way out of plumb that one there is twisted um this one has started started to warp at the top none of these posts have any kind of post base um to secure it to the concrete uh there's no footing here which i mean these are stairs so it's not a huge deal, but still I like to see footing for these supports. Um, all these four by fours, which really should be six by six, uh, just sitting on the patio. This is definitely not a footing. I could tell by the amount of dirt dug up there that this is probably just a patio landing. It's missing a stair landing. Um, these, look at this post connector. I don't even know what you call this thing. This is not. That is not a post base connector. And he's got one there, nothing there. One here, none of them are secured in any way. So the, the supports aren't even secure. He's got uh, bracing here, one screw, it's a deck screw. The bracing's cut, so it's that's not gonna last long. Um, golly, I don't even know where to go because this is so bad. Um, so his task was to redo this deck and add an extension. He used two by six boards, literally one screw under each joist. That's what's holding these joists on. No hangers on either side. These are two by six and they're 16 inches on center. So already you got an issue there. Um, the board he's using here. The ledger, I guess, or for the beam. Not sitting on the column at all. It's uh, in here with like probably a total of, I'd say eight deck screws. So just wood deck screws holding that on. No lags, no through bolts or anything. Um, this all should be s sitting on a column anyways. Like that needs to be notched, it needs to be sitting on top of that. Um, down here, Looks like uh, he didn't have a board long enough, so he just cut a piece and then basically screwed it together with another piece, which is entirely wrong. Um, no hangers on any of those. Nothing supporting this at all. That's just floating. Uh, stairs. Look at the gap. There's, it's like 48 inches between these stringers. So he needs at least, I'd say at least two more stringers. Um, the way they're attached is a joke at the top. Look at the kerf on this. This is probably two and a half inches. Needs to be uh, five inches at minimum. Rusty nails holding all this stuff together. Just toenails, no kind of uh, angle bracket or strap or anything like that. All these corners are all ripped off. This, I told the owner, this looks like 
some stringers he pulled off some other deck and just slapped them on here because they look a lot older than all this other wood. Um, underneath the landing here, not even sure what's going on there. Um, just, I think this guy was just screwing boards together. Didn't even really have an idea of what to do. This all just confuses me. So they're just like random boards that are, have been cut. He's got them screwed up there. Um, no hanger on that. That joy, that board there is supporting all these joists. It needs to be double. There needs to be hangers. Um, hanger there, hanger there. All these need hangers, like I said. But like, look at this. That's not even a full board. This is a board, and then that's a board. And I don't even know how those two are together. It's like, some of this doesn't even make sense. I'm basically confused looking at it. Like I said, there's no support under that. Um, th there's not a single lag screw, through bolt, any type of structural fastener in this entire thing. It's all just fucking rusty nails and deck screws. Out on the edge here of this portion that he added, just a single board supporting all these joists, uh, not even sitting on the column. The attachment of this board to the column is just deck screws, not even like a lag. That should have been notched. This needs to be doubled because it is acting as a beam. Um, so this thing, I mean, it's, I just, I don't even know what to say, guys. I've never seen anything this bad. It's almost confusing how bad it is because you're wondering how it even got to this point and, like, what was what the thought process was on even some of this stuff is, like, just putting boards together and screwing them on and no real purpose of any of this. This is kind of funny, too. Like, the bracing isn't even, like, aligned. Like, that, that board there's way longer, sitting lower, like, doesn't even make sense. This set of stairs, I guess, was just gonna be 28 inches wide, so not even the required 36. And like I said, there's not even a landing here. Um, like, I just don't even, I, I can't believe this. Um, and the homeowner, unfortunately, has paid this guy $5,000, and this is what she's got. And I told her, I don't even think there's $500 worth of material here. Because I think some of this stuff, he pulled off some other job or like found in the dumpster. Because this is like, this is a used stringer. Like, look at this thing. This has been used. These stairs, I mean, you got what, like a four inch uh, rise. And then you got like a seven and a half inch. And then like a six and a half inch. And a six inch. So like, not a single one of those is the same height of a rise. So them steps all would have been different rises. This board here is supporting these two two by sixes, which are spanning 10 feet, which is way too long. But it's not even connect, like what is, what is happening? It's not sitting on anything. It's screwed in right there with some deck screws and then it just stops. And then he's got like a skirt on the outside here that is basically holding that on. Like this, it's confusing. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Give this a thumbs up. I wanna make this go viral because uh, this guy has refused to fix this. He's refused to refund this lady um, and he deserves to not be in business anymore. So give it a like, give it a comment, share it. Um, let me know what you think. I'm sure there's more issues there. Were, I mean, I, I was here for an hour and a half uh, doing this inspection, just taking pictures and noting the defects because there were so many. Um, so I'm sure as I was going through, I missed some of them. But yeah, guys, make sure you share this and hopefully we can get this resolved. Hopefully I can get a video up of uh, a deck that was built properly for this lady. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one.